Hey, this is Matt. I'm going to show you how to create floor plans from your sketches using Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and I've opened up a sketch. I took a picture of it and brought it into Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is crop it. So give yourself a little bit of padding around the edges. Maybe something like this. Maybe just bump it a little bit. That looks about right. Maybe not quite so tall. There we go. And now if you find yourself with a sort of a long sketch like this where it's wide and not very tall, it helps to rotate it. There we go. Now that looks nice. Okay, so the first step is to add guides. And you're going to use the guides for tracing your lines for your borders, uh, like the walls and whatever. And I like to use guides because it makes sure that your lines are very straight keeps them perfectly in line with each other versus trying to draw it by hand and then their lines are a little bit off not quite matching and you can see I'm being really really oh, don't need that one really specific here um, basically putting a bunch of guides in because every little line needs to be perfectly you know in sync with the other lines so this does take a second to do this, but it's worth it. Okay. All right. And might as well get these little lines here for the closets as well. Okay. And you can turn your lines on and off. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is create a new layer. And this will be for my walls. And we can just call it walls. There we go. All right, so I want to be on my pencil tool. There we go. And I should be on a 5 pixel for my outside wall. And I want the color to be, I like to use 7s across the board here. Makes it nice and easy. Okay, so now I'm basically just going to go from here and just start clicking. And I hold down the shift key, and by doing that, it keeps it in one straight line. So I'm just going to go and click on all the different borders. And what I'm doing is basically drawing the exterior wall. And I'm still holding the shift key, and that's just going to make sure it's perfectly straight. Okay, let go. There we go. And if I hide this layer, you can see now that's what I'm looking at. So I've got a pretty nice trace outline of my apartment. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is create a new layer, and we'll call this the inside walls, maybe. And this will be the same, except I'm going to use a thinner brush here. We'll make this one just three pixels. Okay, make sure I'm on that layer. Excellent. Show my lines again. Okay, so here we'll make the closet. Now I'm holding down the shift key, and I think it goes to right there, and right there, and I'll do one, let's see, I guess right here, over to there, and right here to here, I think to right about there. Okay, let's see, go look and see how that went. Okay, not bad, not bad. Can extend this one a little bit. There we go. And we'll do these little guys over here. These are just the closet doors. Okay. So now we're coming along. We hide the sketch and we got ourselves what looks like a floor plan. Nice. Need to clean this up a little bit here. I'm going to zoom in. And we can just maybe just redraw this entire spot here because it didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. All right. <clears throat> and we'll just go from, let's say, right about here up to there. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So we got our deal now. It's looking good. Next thing we need to do 
is add the room labels. So bring up our text. And I like to use Myriad Pro Bold Condensed and I like to use an all black. There we are. And that needs to be bigger. So let's make that around. Oh, maybe even a little bigger. Nice. Cool. And I'll do one here. There we go. go and if we want we can add maybe entry over here and maybe we'll add closets we'll add this and we can probably make that text a little bit smaller. Okay, that's going to be fine. We'll draw little lines to these different closet spaces. And we should probably clean up the entries, so why don't we go down to our walls layer, and we will just get rid of that. There we go. And we'll bump our entry over a little bit like that. And now what we need to do is just draw a couple lines. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so there's our floor plan. Now what we can do is we can save it. So I go file, and I like to go save for web. And I like to save it as a GIF, and that all looks fine. And so we'll save it. And we'll just call this floor plan. I find it's helpful also to save the Photoshop file in case you need to make edits in the future. So we'll just call it floor plan. And we're done. Then, once you upload your floor plan to Tour Vista and connect it to your photos, you can see your virtual tour comes alive, and you now have an interactive floor plan to use in marketing your property.